Hello viewers. This is a video from Max C. He likes electrical type things and was interested in this problem I have in my house of when I plug in a high power appliance the line voltage seems to drop quite a bit. So for those of you that aren't Max C and don't know exactly what's going on here um, I'm upstairs in the computer room right now. We're looking at the printer. I've got a couple of other appliances that I'm going to try. When I turn on the printer, everything else dims. And actually, the printer is so bad that the uninterpretable power supplies I have under my, my computer table will actually switch over to battery power. So, before I test the appliances, um, I'm just going to... i got the kilowatt meter set up here. I'm going to do a sample power draw of the printer because I don't actually know how much power it draws. So I've got this on amps. I'm going to switch on the printer now. And the clicks you're going to hear in a few seconds are the uninterrupted power supplies. Okay, so that peaked out to about 10 amps. Now that's certainly drawing a fair bit of power. Um, I'm going to make a copy of nothing just so we can see how much power it draws while printing something. Alright, so that was a pretty high draw. So now I'm going to turn this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into a different outlet. And I'm going to use the kilowatt meter to measure volts. And I'm going to turn the printer on and we'll see what happens to the volts. Okay, so now I'm measuring volts. We've got 123.8 volts on the line. And, uh, I'm going to put power of the printer now. Now we're down to 118, 120, back down to 121, up to 124. So now we're about back to where it started. So it dropped down almost 4 volts. I'm going to make a copy again. And down to 118. Okay, so it's dropping quite a bit. Now uh, I'm going to test something that has a more constant draw, uh, like a heater. Here's the heater. It's a Titan branded heater. We have uh, 1500 and 1300 watt settings. I got it on 1500 just for the video. Uh, I'm going to plug it in. We'll get the power draw. It's uh, about 12 and a half amps, so that's way more than the printer. That wasn't too cool. Okay, anyways, um, that was that's more power than the printer draws. So I'm gonna find somewhere to plug this in. I'm gonna turn off the printer so we don't lose the whole circuit here, and uh, I'll do another voltage test. Okay, here we go with the volts again. I'm gonna switch on the heater now. Oh boy, down to 115. That's like. There's a 7 or 8 volt drop. I'll put it up to uh, 15 or 1300 watts. And there, it goes up one more volt. Go back to 1500. And it drops down to 115. And I'll turn it off. 
and back up to 123 and I'll switch it back on again and going back down to 115 and off 123 so the line is definitely dropping quite a bit from the heater now uh, I'll test the fan which I think only draws about 5 amps well that's actually quite a bit for a fan but should be a lot less than these other appliances okay here's the fan uh, of course this is not an everyday fan but um, I do use it a bit so I'll plug it in now I think it's on low uh, mm -hmm. yeah let's see that should be high So that draws quite a bit of power. Um, I have people are going to comment on me unplugging things while they're on. You know what? I don't feel like reaching over and knocking the video thing over and everything. Normally I don't do that. Alright, so now I'm going to plug the fan in somewhere else. And we'll get a reading on the voltage. Wow, so that would have... Okay, anyways. I just realized I could just plug it in right here. So even just the fan, and again, this is not an average household fan, but even just the fan is is dropping the voltage by almost 4 volts. Now that was all testing on this same circuit. I'm going to take the heater and I'm going to plug it in in, uh, in the bathroom. I think the bathroom has its own circuit. And we'll see what happens to the voltage in here. Alright, so I got the heater plugged in the bathroom. I'm going to go turn it on now. Heater is running. Looks like we only took down about one volt. That's not too bad. Oh, I still don't really think it should do that. I'm going to put the printer on too. Let's see how low we can get this to drop. And now I'll do the fan. Fan off, printer off, and then we'll switch off the heater. And heater off. And we back up to, oh, no, we're not going back up to 123. That's so odd. I can see it at one twenty two. I'm gonna put the heater back on. Yeah, it still drops it by about a volt. Alright, now I'm going to bring the meter into the bathroom and let's see if it's an issue just in this room or if it's in the bathroom as well. 
Okay, here we go. Heater in the bathroom. Uh, we're at 130 or 123.3 volts. Point. Oh, you know why it dropped? The heater in the house just turned on. The furnace. That's why it dropped. Yep, we have this problem all throughout the house. And uh, I'll just try a random out with downstairs, even though I never really use the powerful appliances downstairs. Alright, here we are in the dining room. Oh, we have more volts in the dining room than upstairs. We got 124.4 volts down here. So I've got uh, the heater and a vacuum cleaner happen to just be sitting there. So I'm going to plug that in too and turn that on. First I'll do the vacuum. I took it down to about 118. And now I'll switch on the heater. I took it down to about 116. And just for a few seconds I'll put both on. One hundred eleven. Well, I'm sure that's probably far more power than the circuit was ever designed to handle. And we're back up to 124. Alright, last test is going to be downstairs in the shop. I have an outlet, this one right here, which is on its own circuit. goes nowhere else other than right into the panel, three inches away. So we're getting one, uh, 123 volts. See, this thing is really glary. Okay, now I will uh, switch on the heater. 121. So that's uh, not much of a drop, at least compared to the other outlets. So there you have it. I don't know what to make of that. The fact that this one's different than all the others would lead me to believe that maybe there's just really cheap wire in the house, which is totally possible. So that's it. Hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully somebody else found that interesting too. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.